Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in knowledge pays the best dividends. Donors, we know that by being a donor, you generously open up the world and all it has to offer for each of the scholarship recipients. By making a scholarship possible, you are helping someone not for the reward, but for the sake of changing their lives. This could not happen today without your dedication and your generosity for helping others achieve, achieve their academic goals. Scholars, for your outstanding achievement, you are being recognized with one of the generous gifts anyone could offer. At the end of the last scholarship reception last year, 2016, a student walked up to me and she was clutching a piece of paper in her hand and she said, Dr. Fontanella, this may not mean much to someone else, but for me, this is my future. This is your future. Again, welcome and enjoy the reception. My name is Rachel Bartlett. I'm a student veteran here at IVC, and I will actually be transferring this year. And thank you. You're great. <laughs> In case you guys haven't realized, IVC is a really amazing school, and it really does mean so much to me. It's completely changed my life. So this morning, um, I've been asked to help lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'm going to invite everyone here to rise and place your hand over your heart. And here we have the flag, if we would all say this together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm Tim Jamal. I'm the president of the Board of Trustees. There are seven of us on the Board of Trustees, and I'd just like to take a second here to recognize a couple of trustees that are in the audience. Our longest serving trustee and recent award winner for the Marion Bergeson Public Service Award, Marcia Milchiker. Uh, trustee Bobby J. And I think that's it. Did any other, Glenn, any other trustees here? All right. So, you all should be very proud of this day. It's, it's an exceptional accomplishment to um, win a scholarship award. Uh, I know um, you've worked hard for this and, and, uh, and a lot of people helped you along the way, but, but make no mistake, um, you are in this award. But uh, one thing I've been thinking about is, you know, along the way, you probably or you may, may encounter some people who might make you question your own abilities. I know I've had that. I've seen it with my kids. I, I've seen it with students. I've seen it with coworkers. But don't be deterred. Each one of you has greatness, and your college education truly will provide you even more tools to succeed in life and throughout your academic career. You have to talk right into this microphone. One of my favorite authors, Mark Twain, said, and I quote, Keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great make you feel that you too can become great, end quote. And I know there are people in the audience today who, are, who do make you feel great, your parents, friends, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, fellow students, uh, faculty, administrator, staff, all of them have helped you along the way and contributed immensely to your success. And I know and expect that you will make them proud as you continue over the next few years. I wanna thank the foundation for the work in providing funding for these deserving students and congratulations again to everyone here. Thank you. My name is Dr. Deborah Fitzsimmons and I'm the interim chancellor of this great district. And it is truly an honor to join you today to celebrate our students' success and their very bright futures. To our generous donors, thank you 
for making a quality higher education possible and easing the financial burden that goes with, goes with it for so many students. It is extremely difficult to do well academically while having to worry about how you're going to pay for college and your generosity is overwhelming and it extends well beyond a dollar figure. It enables our students to focus more on their education and less on how to make it work financially. Thank you for your investment and trust in them. You have made a difference of immeasurable proportions. To our IVC student scholarship recipients, we are so proud of you. You have shown tremendous dedication and perseverance to get to where you are today. I am sure there were times when you wondered what all the hard work was for and would it pay off. At those times, you may have felt some self-doubt and remember what you've made of and what you've been accomplishing. Your hard work has made you more resilient and has prepared you for future successes. Congratulations, you make us all very proud and we look forward to seeing the great things you'll be doing. And please, don't forget us. We are your fans here at Irvine Valley College and will always be a part of your cheering section. Thank you. I always look forward to this occasion as I not only have the opportunity to meet our scholarship recipients, but here uh, I also have the pleasure of meeting so many of our very important donors. The number of scholarships being awarded today speaks volumes about the support of our IVC community. Your generosity is in fact tremendous and a huge investment in tomorrow's workforce. Having our students, our families, our donors, and community members come together today is such an inspiration for all of our students. Your participation in today's program further encourages our award recipients to aspire and to follow their dreams. Without the tremendous support of so many individuals and companies, organizations, and of course the faculty and staff at Irvine Valley College, we would not be able to show our students how committed we are to their success and their educational path. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge a couple who invested in the future of our students, Helen and Peter Maxwell. They have provided support to our students for many years now, first through the Foundation Awards Dinner and more recently by providing significant scholarships. Very soon you will hear the names of all of the scholarships being awarded today and among them will be the Maxwell's Family Scholarship. Three of our students are fortunate to receive support from the scholarship they established just this year. The students here today are the first that will be in a long line of students whose academic dreams will be impacted by Helen and Peter's generosity as they created an endowment which will provide scholarships in perpetuity. I would like to thank you both. Thank you. Today, as our students receive awards, please remember how life-changing these achievements can be, be, can be in the life of an IVC student. A scholarship can make all the difference in the world for a student struggling to balance school, work, family. Perhaps an award today will allow a student to work fewer hours and uh, in a part-time job, because even cutting back a few shifts can make an incredible difference in a student's overall academic success. Or maybe the scholarship given today will enable a student to invest in a much needed textbook. They are incredibly expensive. For each student, the impact varies, but one thing is consistent. It makes a real difference to our students. The accomplishments of our scholarship recipients are a significant part of IVC's legacy. IVC ranks in the state number one uh, for transfer in the state and number one in Orange County. And our students go on to attend places like UC San Diego, Columbia, Caltech, Brown, Cornell, Johns Hopkins, UCLA, Stanford, UC Berkeley, and San Diego State. If I've left your college out, I apologize for that. 
there are many other incredible institutions that our students find their way to. Without the commitment and funding of IVC donors like all of you, it would not be possible for us to continue scholarships like these. This year in total, over 640 scholarships will provide more than $425,000 in awards to IVC students. That deserves an, an applause. And all of this is made possible through the generosity of individuals, corporations, service organizations, and of course our IVC faculty and staff, as I have mentioned. On behalf of the college, I want to again thank everyone who has generously invested in our students. Your support will help each of them reach their academic and personal goals. Thank you very much to all of you. I'm Kathy Schmeidler. I'm a professor of biology, but I'm here today uh, representing the faculty of IVC as the Academic Senate President. And I welcome you all on behalf of the faculty for, for this wonderful event. Um, specifically, I'm going to begin announcing scholarships. And the way we're going to do it this year, if I hope you'll all agree with me, because none of us have any choice. Um, <laughs> And I teach in the fall, and you're welcome to come to my classes. They're hard, but they're funny. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to announce a scholarship name. And if the donors and recipients of that scholarship would please rise so that they can be acknowledged, we'll just go through rather than having people troop across the stage. Thank you. So we'll begin out. These are in alphabetical order so people can get ready. Alvin M. Lang Endowed Scholarship. ASG of IVC Academic Excellence Scholarship. Thank you. ASG of IVC Business Sciences Scholarship. ASG of IVC Endowed Osher Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC Health Sciences, Kinesiology, and Athletics Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC Humanities and Languages Scholarship. Anybody? Donors? ASG of IVC Leadership Activity Involvement Scholarship. ASG of IVC Life Science Technology Scholarship. ASG of IVC, Mathematics, Computer Science, and Engineering Scholarship. They're probably taking exams. <laughs> ASG of IVC, Physical Science and Technology Scholarships. Scholarship. ASG of IVC Recognition Financial Assistance Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC Recognition Part-Time Student Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC Recognition Working Scholarship. ASG of IVC, Single Parent Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC, Social Behavioral Sciences Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of IVC, The Arts Scholarship. ASG of IVC Transferring Scholarship. <laughs> ASG of 
Asian and Pacific Islander American Scholarship Fund. <laughs> Assistance League of Irvine Endowed Scholarship. AT&T Endowed Scholarship. Everybody take out your phone. <laughs> Award for STEM Excellence, A-S-T-E-M-E. -E. Barbara and Christopher Regal Endowed Scholarship. California Retired Teachers Association, Harbor Beach Division 77 Scholarship. <laughs> Campbell Hutter, Whatever It Takes Scholarship. I like that name. <laughs> Cesar Chavez, Endowed Osher Scholarship. Charter 100, Countess Pease Jeffries Endowed Scholarship. <laughs> Charter 100, Marilyn Foreman Endowed Scholarship. <laughs> Charter 100, Osher Endowed Scholarships. <laughs> Charter 100, Program Scholarship. Chris L. C. Lee, Creativity and Academic Scholarship. <laughs> Cox Communications Engineering Scholarship. <laughs> Cox Communications Mathematics Scholarship. <laughs> Cox Communications Science Scholarship. Current IVC Dance Student Award. Cindy McAlia Endowed Scholarship. Donald L. and Sandra F. Rickner Endowed Scholarship. Dr. Shungnak L. and Ruth L. Kim Endowed Scholarship. Edison International STEM Scholarship. Eric Harris Scholarship. Follett College Stores Corporation Scholarship. Goodwill Scholarship. Grace Everett Fulkerson Endowed Scholarship. Guidance and Counseling at IVC Endowed Scholarship. Hewitt Capaldi Endowed Osher Scholarship. Ikimi Murakami Music Scholarship. <laughs> Irvine Ranch Water District Astounding Inventions Scholarship. <laughs> Thank you. We'll continue with the scholarships momentarily, but we have another speaker. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Peter Lee, and I'm a second year civil engineer. Uh, I'd like to start off by thanking all the donors and all the foundation, IVC Foundation staff for making this event happen. Um, um, again, like the president said, um, the scholarship, um, 
it speaks more than just um, the figure amount. Um, the amount of time that you guys spend with us at the tables, getting to know us, um, it, it adds, like, it's not just about um, the, it's not just about the numbers or what we write or just the academics by itself, but it's also like that, uh, that human connection um, that, um, how do you say, it? it's like uh, sympathy in a way, um, getting to know each other. Um, sorry, kind of nervous. <laughs> Uh, so uh, to start off, um, I'd like to tell you guys about myself. Um, I lived abroad for almost half of my life, moving back and forth between the U.S. and Vietnam uh, because of my parents' jobs. Um, my dad had to leave school when he was uh, in eighth grade, and my mom eventually had to give up her job because she had to raise me and my brother. Um, uh, when the, uh, the Vietnam War happened, um, it, it hindered my uh, my mom's side, both my mom and my dad's family, um, from pursuing their uh, careers, uh, as well as their aspirations. And so, as it turns out, reality has a way of pushing dreams aside. And uh, in the end, um, their dreams were just dreams. Um, throughout my time uh, in high school, I've always pondered the difference between, what's the difference between a scientist uh, and an engineer? Um, and it turns out that both have a wide knowledge of science, technology, and uh, mathematics, but it is the engineer who takes um, all these concepts and principles and apply them creatively um, to solve um, world problems. And so what I've learned at IVC is that this campus takes the initiative to expose the students um, to the field er very early on. Um, I'm only a second year student, and uh, in the past I've worried that uh, I won't be able to get internships because usually they don't accept uh, lower division um, students, uh, undergrad undergraduate students. Um, but this semester, uh, something unexpected happened. Um, Professor Matt Wilkin happens to offer the class, a very small class uh, called Civil Engineering uh, 125. Um, and from that, it has... Uh, has impacted me very much because it gives me a window into the field. Um, uh, like, uh, usually the assignments we're given are based on um, templates um, that past professors have gone over. But in this class, he has actually taken um, actual engineering problems that engineers have faced um, a past few years, not, not too, uh, just recently. And he has taught us crucial, honed in our skills, certain very specific skills so that we, can, we were able to tackle almost any problems um, using just those consistent, small, um, like specialized sets of skills. And uh, uh, perhaps the most uh, important aspect of that class was the projects that we worked on. He, like this class, it takes the course material and makes it very relevant because the past project that we did was to model IVC campus itself. And what we did was we created a point, uh, 3D surface, point cloud surface. Um, and even though the model was still lacking because you know it's an introductory course, it helped me, it piqued my interest and it really made me involved in that class um, because I know I was contributing to IVC and hopefully in the engineering department in the future. I love my school and I try to get involved with the community outside of class and I have ASEC to thank for that because um, the class offers a variety of volunteering, uh, engineering volunteering um, opportunities, as well as uh, lab tours in the Jet Propulsion Lab, NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, um, the UCI um, Chemistry Department Labs, um, and they also have this amazing rocket launch event that happens every year. Um, being only a second year, uh, practice of this flexible career is already happening for me. And I don't plan on stopping just now. Uh, I plan to pursue a higher education, um, 
specializing in structural engineer. And one day, uh, I'll be in your positions, uh, inviting a future generation to change our minds. Um, so this projection to me is clear, standing here, because I'm confident that I have the tools uh, and what it takes um, to make my dreams, my own dreams come true. So once again, thank you very much. Um, I'm Dr. Virginia Shank, and I'm with the English department at Irvine Valley College. Um, I'm really honored to be invited this year to continue reading scholarships. Uh, you can tell how honored I am because I busted out the big bow tie. Um, so thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you to everyone who supported our students as someone who works with them and has a privilege to work with so many of them. I can't tell you how fantastic they are, and I'm so glad that you have chosen to invest in them, and I'm so proud of all of you. Um, so, the IVC Ambassador Award. It's also really hard for me, because usually I'm out there hooting and cheering, and I'm like, I should probably tone that down while I'm in front of the microphone. The IVC Classified Senate Endowed Scholarship. The IVC Classified Senate Green Alternatives. <laughs> IVC Classified Senate Veterans Scholarship. <laughs> the IVC Custodian Scholarship. <laughs> IVC Debate Champs. <laughs> The IVC Employee Sponsored Scholarship. <laughs> IVC Faculty Osher Endowed Scholarship. <laughs> the IVC Honors Program Exemplary Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> the IVC Management Council Scholarship. IVC Model United Nations Scholarship. The IVC Presidential Scholarship. The IVC Student Alumni Endowed Osher Scholarships. The IVC Theater Award. Jenny Richards Memorial Endowed Vocal Musils Music Scholarship. John Schneiderman Guitar Scholarship. The Jonathan Stiebel Scholarship. The Joseph Hewitt Memorial Endowed Scholarship. The Kirk C. Gorey Endowed Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Wall Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> the Lillian V. Chandos Memorial Endowed Scholarship. <laughs> the Lloyd and Loretta Dyer Family Foundation Endowed Scholarship. The Lyle and Ethel Davis Endowed Osher Scholarship. <laughs> Marie de la Palme Endowed Scholarship. <laughs> the Math Scholarship. <laughs> the Maxwell Family Scholarship. The Nadeshiko Scholarship. The Nancy L. Montgomery Troop in Transition Scholarship. The Nancy Lent Logan Endowed Osher Scholarship. 
National Science Foundation IU Scholarship. The Nick Tucker Scholarship. <laughs> the Orange County Fine Arts Scholarship. Osher Endowed Scholarships. The Paralegal Scholarship. Political Science Writing Awards. <laughs> the Risk Management Association Scholarship. The Saddleback Kumanis Foundation Scholarship. The School's First Federal Credit Union Scholarship. The Single Mom Scholarship. The SO Triple CD Faculty Association Scholarship. The Student Ambassador Annual Project Scholarship. <laughs> Student Donation Scholarship. <laughs> the Tanya Reed Gardner Memorial Endowed Music Scholarship. <laughs> the Volunteers of Hogue Hospital Irvine Endowed Scholarship. The Waste Management Scholarship. And the Wyoma Hamilton Endowed Osher Scholarship. Thank you again for everyone for your support and thank you um, to the donors and congratulations to the students. Legendary guru SpongeBob SquarePants once said, well, actually, once presented a phrase that is the anthem to my life. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. My name is Susan Rosenthal. Good morning, everyone. I am a psych major here at IVC, and <laughs> yeah, and I am honored to be speaking to you today. My story begins, excuse me. My story begins when I learned about the IVC scholarship program through EOPS and I decided to apply. I was, yeah, <laughs> they're awesome. Hi, Parisa. <laughs> I was very honest in my application and wrote about my struggles and my future goals in both life and education. I wrote of how I came back to college later in life and how I'm raising two daughters, Nivia, who's 11, and Kaylin, who's five. Kaylin is our special little miracle. She was born with a life-threatening brain deformity called hydrocephalus. Many of you have never heard of this diagnosis, and I can talk about this condition all morning, but that's a whole other speech. She's had a rough start experiencing two brain surgeries so far in her life, one performed 24 hours after she was born. But thankfully today, she's a bubbly free spirit who has overcome all odds and is jumping around behind you. <laughs> Hi, KK. <laughs> Last year, when I attended this very same ceremony, I was fortunate enough to receive four scholarships. My donors were the Incredible Assistance League, the Nick Tucker Scholarship, the IVC Classified Senate Scholarship, and the IVC Management Council Scholarship. Because of these scholarships, an enormous financial burden was lifted. I never worried about dipping into Kaylin's medical expense account to cover for school expenses. I'm less worried about finances and more worried about Nivea's fifth grade homework, which can be tougher than my stats class at times. <laughs> my daughters and I collectively thank you and hope to give back to future students and future mothers just as you have given to me. Donors, your gracious contributions go to students who walk away from IVC with certificates of achievement, associate's degrees, or just knowledge to better succeed in life. 
Some of us have been accepted to prestigious schools like UCLA, Berkeley, and USC. As for me, I've been accepted to Chapman University with a scholarship to complete my undergraduate degree in psych. Thank you. Thank you. In time, I would move on to a graduate program so I can get my dream job of being a school psychologist. Tomorrow, many of us graduate from IVC and start the next phase of our lives. Many of us, or some of us, will be back next year here at IVC, furthering our education. With your collective help and donations, we're all one step closer to getting to the finish line. I guess SpongeBob was right. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Thank you. My name is Stephen Rochford, and I'm in the music department. And um, I'm equally proud of my time here at the college, uh, being in the, a member of the Academic Senate and a member of the Foundation Board of Governors. I'm also one of them who's retiring. So, so I'll be making my membership dues to the Cal RTA very soon here. So, so good morning and congratulations on receiving a scholarship. Not to sound cliche, but an education is one of the most important things you can do. An education adds breadth to your intellectual mosaic, as well as specific knowledge, your major, your potential career, and so on. It also, believe it or not, adds to your sense of humor, which is going to be very important in everything you do, starting with yourself. All right, so uh, just keep that in mind. An education increases your intellectual curiosity. Curiosity feeds more curiosity, which then feeds more knowledge, which feeds the integration and use of that knowledge, which feeds empathy, compassion, patience, and humanity. So beyond the financial assistance, what is a scholarship? I believe a scholarship is an opportunity and you need to recognize and create and use your opportunities well. It's a promise of an opportunity. So I challenge and ask each of you, what will you do with your opportunity? These scholarships will help in any way you need them to help with school, but it's bigger than that. It's an opportunity, something larger than all of us. So I want you all to listen for a second. Listen very carefully. Hear those seconds ticking by. My students know what I'm gonna say next. <laughs> Those are also heartbeats going by. And guess what? They're gone forever, those heartbeats. So how are you gonna use the heartbeats that are left in your life with this opportunity, yes? So keep that in mind. I have another phrase that is favor of mine that I'm not going to say, but <laughs> you understand, okay? I've had an incredibly fortunate life. Uh, you know, the, the job here and so on, but I was, with, without my parents actually saying it, they actually taught us all those lessons. Opportunities come, they go, you find them, you create them, they come your way, and often you don't recognize them until later, all right? And so, uh, f to all of you, I encourage you to, to the, really the only thing I ever heard here as a teacher that made me think and gave me pause was when someone said, well, I'm majoring, I really, what I want to do is this, this is what I want to do, but I'm majoring in this, for this reason or that reason. It was almost always an external reason. So my advice to you is, all of, all of you who are receiving scholarships and all the students here at the college, is that you study what you wish and you do what you wish you wanna do in life and pick the career that you wish, not someone else's. It's all well-meaning, but they have their own wishes and their own opportunities and their own life, yes? And you're the only one that has to live with you and within you until the day you're not longer with us. So do what you wish. Take advantage of the opportunities when they come. This scholarship is an opportunity. Go forward in your studies in life and do things that are worthwhile and that make a difference in the lives of others. Most importantly, do and engage in things that are larger than yourself and use your opportunities well. There'll be a lot more than you may realize coming by. Take the opportunity of your scholarship to make a difference. Whatever it is you may do in order to make a difference, does not need to be, and most often will not appear to be, big in terms of our contemporary world. 
They won't even be noticed immediately by the person for whom you made that difference. But trust me, they will be noticed and appreciated later on. But that's not why we make a difference, to be noticed. We make a difference for the awesomeness of making a difference. And all it needs is one, right? One little thing is all you need to do. So I encourage you all to be droplets of difference making. And we need many more droplets in this world today. Would you all agree? Yes. More droplets of difference making. All right. Um, impact the life of somebody else in some way. And again, it doesn't have to be anything that's big or grandiose. It can be, but it doesn't need to be. More often than not, what it is is the constant little drip, drip, drip drip of difference making. Find it in yourself in your own way. I know from my own experiences, I've been uh, heavily involved in this college in 27 years, and I know from my own experiences that my life is deeper and enriched by doing something to make a difference. I was lucky. I have two brothers and one sister. I'm the oldest. There's four of us. And between me and my sister is four and a half years of, diff of age. That's it. My mother had me when she was 21, which gives me pause because I know how I was at 21. Good grief, you know. But she had all four of us by the time she was 26. At the time, I was just a kid, right? Later on in life, I went, oh, boy. Four kids by 26 years old. So, you know, and she was the PTA president, and, 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 right? So m my parents, through, through action, without saying anything, impacted us to think a certain way and to look and take advantage of our opportunities. Um, my father was a type AAA on overdrive, studious, intense, outspoken, loudly opinionated professor of biology and botany at Fullerton Community College. And the people that know me the best here say, well, that explains a few things, <laughs> all right? He was also some that earned two doctoral degrees. He went in the seminary for two years right out of high school. Got bored, decided to do something else, went in the Navy for 10 years, finished third in his class at Beth Bethesda Naval Medical School and became a Naval Corpsman. Was trained in battlefield triage, was assigned to a Marine Corps unit, and was on his way to Korea when the war ended. He was on a ship, literally out in the Pacific Ocean. Um, and so he spent 10 years, and since uh, he didn't, you know, he didn't get to, to battle, he spent the next 10 years studying psychology. Michael, I never told you that. Right? That's what his second doctorate was in. And um, but what 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 he was, you know, he was driven, but he had a great sense of humor, and so did my mother. And so what the, probably the most important thing, and then I'll get back to my point of opportunity, without saying a word to us or telling us that this is what they were doing. Um, besides being incredibly supportive, being at everything we did, concerts, everything. Uh, every summer for about five or six summers when we were young, I, I think I was in sixth grade, um, we drove around the country. We pulled one of those pop-up trailers on the back of the car with a tow ball, right? And stopped in, it seems like, every KOA that exists in the United States. How many of you know what a KOA was or is? All the old people, right? So. Uh, do they still exist? Are they still around? KOAs? It's a very American thing. It stands for Campgrounds of America, but of course we misspell the first word, you know, the K instead of a C. But, but that's what we did. Popped that thing up and we went everywhere. We went everywhere and, uh, you know, saw uh, different parts of the country. We saw uh, then, that time, former President Lyndon Johnson at his library just came walking out of an elevator right in front of us. So my dad shook his hand. I ran after him, got about five feet away, and the Secret Service went like this, so I stopped, you know. But, you know, we saw, uh, we saw the whole country. Because of that, I have three states left to be in all 50. Three states. Rhode Island, the smallest one. Connecticut. And then Alaska, the largest one. But Colin and I are checking that one off one month from now. We'll be in Alaska. So two more left after that. So, but what did they really do? They created a what? And opportunity right they created an opportunity and by doing so I mean they were, they were pretty active you know but they taught us uh, the four of us to create opportunities to seek them out to f try to recognize them when they came but they never said it this is what I have over years have figured out you know to be involved to be in fact to be to be active and to vote they talked about that all the time to vote right think about it how many What's the percentage of our turnout for a presidential election in this country? 30-some percent, right? It needs to be, a, let's get it to 31. Mm -hmm. you 
There are millions of people on this planet without that opportunity, so we need to exercise that more. Um, to learn about other people and cultures and to understand how important it was to understand the history of this nation and to be something larger than ourselves. When we stopped doing that is when we got into high school and we were all a little busy, and my mom said to me one time, you've seen more of the country than 90% of the Americans ever will. I never thought about it. It seemed so obvious to me as a kid, you get in a car and drive around the country. As I got older, I realized that how special those, those times were and the types of opportunities they created and how that impacted us. Not everyone has that type of upbringing. I understand that or background, but what you all have is, especially with this scholarship, is a what? Opportunity, right. So 2017 IVC scholarship recipients, how will you use your opportunity to be a part of something larger than yourselves? How will you use the opportunity to make a small difference in the life of others? Everything is about little small increments. That's how we learn, that's how things change. We all have different contexts of life. Mine has been in teaching and program building. It was not always easy, but anything that's worthwhile is not easy, but it is worth the toil and effort and time and thought and sweat and frustration. It really is. I encourage you to expand yourselves, expand your understanding of something larger than yourselves, of the world, of each other, to talk more and text less, especially in class. All right. Mm -hmm. Find for yourself what it is that makes you happy, that drives your curiosity, that drives your interests, your loves, your passions, and that which feeds your intellect, empathy, and compassion. Use opportunities well. Go forth and be a part of something larger than yourself. Be, in your own way and manner, one of the many small droplets of difference making. You never know when something you do, something you say, or just by listening, Something that may seem to be a small gesture to you may make a huge difference to someone else. Remember those heartbeats I mentioned a few minutes ago? Well, they're still going by. Every one of them, right? So, they're still marching by. So what are you waiting for? Get going. Thank you all. My name is Jonathan Stiebel. Uh, I used to be a student here at IVC, and I gave the commencement speech at my graduation in uh, 2011, I think it was. So now I'm back here as a donor. Um, <laughs> so to give some background about how this scholarship came to be, uh, back when I was in high school, I grew up with uh, high-functioning autism, but that was a long time ago. We don't care about that anymore. So. Back when I was in high school, we would have these meetings where uh, it was an educational therapy school for dis uh, students with learning disabilities. So we would have meetings going over my short-term and long-term goals for my career and for my life. And in these meetings, it was with a bunch of people from the school district, and they would ask me, so what are my goals? And short-term, I said, I want a job at Best Buy. And then long-term, I said, first, I'm going to learn Chinese because China's going to take over the world, and I want to be a part of that. Second, I want to work with Chinese companies and American companies to bridge a cultural gap to help bring Chinese products to America, help bring American products to China, and just bring countries closer together so that we can take over the world with China. <laughs> and they laughed at me. And that's messed up. You never, like, don't laugh at someone else's dream. And that's echoing the previous speech, do what you want to do. I never got that job at Best Buy. Not, I interviewed at least three or four times, I never got it. But today, I work at a massive Chinese company as an integral part of bridging American and Chinese cultural differences. I work as a producer at a game company, and I help bring Chinese games to America and help bring American IPs to China and bridge that cultural gap in a way that I am genuinely interested in. So. And that's exactly, none of that would have happened without me coming to IVC and without the help of the IVC Foundation and the faculty here and my fellow students and just the entire environment here. Uh, I ended up transferring to UC Berkeley after coming to IVC, but that, that did nothing for me. It was all IVC. <laughs> and the reason for that is that because of the small class sizes, the excellent faculty and the opportunity that you have here, to really engage with your classes and engage with your professors, you can really follow your dream, your passion, to the furthest extent possible. 
uh, professors will hang out with you. They have their doors wide open. You can go talk to them about your class, about life, about anything. And in my experience, at least, I, I had really good professors. They were all open to just chatting with me, seeing movies. Uh, some offered to smoke with me because I knew I was going to Berkeley, but we don't do that. Um, and it was, it was just an excellent opportunity here. So uh, I actually go through each of the scholarship applicants with the help of uh, the scholarship committee, especially Beth Sanchez. Um, and I, she helped a lot. There was a ton of applications. Uh, so I go through each of them just to make sure that the person or people who are receiving the scholarship are truly uh, embodying the ideals contained within the scholarship. Um, and there were a few of them that I read, like multiple that I read, where the students specifically said, rather than playing video games, I was saving the world, curing cancer, this and that. And I was like, oh, that hurts. I work at a game company. And that's exactly what I was doing back in school. Um, but that's their dream. That's their passion. And the students that I've chosen in the past and the students that I've chosen for this scholarship today uh, truly embody a real, genuine passion and dedication to their chosen field of study, to civil service, and to perseverance. Everyone has their own struggles when going through school, whether it's financial or otherwise. And the students that I've chosen have always shown that they've taken extra steps to improving their own situation and not just sitting around waiting for someone to help or just choosing a major because they felt like they should or just going to class because they think it's like high school and you got to go to class. You don't have to go to class. You're just not going to get anything from it. Uh, so that's why it's my hope that with this scholarship and with other scholarships, and the continued support of IVC and the foundation and wherever you transfer to, that you continue to follow your passion, your dream. Don't laugh at others' dreams. And uh, hopefully you'll end up doing exactly what you want in the future because there's no better way to live your life than that. That's it. Good morning. My name is Alyssa Oransky, and I have the honor of being the executive director of the Irvine Valley College Foundation. I am also the last speaker before we're done. So I, my main job is to say thank you, so I also have the best part of the job. So before I go into specifics, I want to send a general thank you to everyone who's here today. Without all of you and all of your participation in the various roles that you play, whether it's reviewing scholarships or being a student or supporting a student who's here, and of course our donors, you made this possible. You are the reason we're here today, and I want to say thank you. Every day, I interact with individuals who have incredible dreams. Each person's dream is different, yet they all share one common goal, support and enhance educational opportunities at IVC. While there are a number of avenues one can take to achieve this goal, many choose to establish scholarships. In fact, during this academic year, 10 new IVC scholarships were created. More than 250 individuals, organizations, and corporations made contributions to a variety of scholarships at IVC. It is now my honor to read the names of the donors who are in attendance today. And I'm going to ask that you please hold your applause until the end. Pam Bennett, Adele Bloom, Lydia Bozita, Kim Breen, Joe Camaro, Cheryl Campbell Hutter, Michael Cassins, Audrey Cummings, Bruce Cummings, Vince Cooper, Carol Dana, Bill Crosby, Diane Evans, Lin Dr. Linda Fontanella, Bruce Greenberg, Lisa Greenberg, Kathleen Greiner, Bruce Hagen, Bill Hewitt, Jill Houseke, 
Amy Hunter, Trustee Barbara J, Trustee Tim Jamal, Amiko Kiyochi, Ken Lira, Janet Lizelle, Tammy Livingstone, Gail Luciano, Jeannie Luong, Karen Martin, Rupa Mather, Helen and Pete Maxwell, Chris McDonald, June McLaughlin, Susan Mertens, Kurt Meyer, Mark Montgomery, Nancy Montgomery, Joseph Mulroy, Roy and Petra Navarez, Diane Oaks, Alyssa Oransky, Whit Peterson, Steve Rochford, Barry Rodoff, Glenn Rockmore, Gil Rowland, Gary Reibold, Julie Scholl, Shireen Shaheen. Almost done. Vida Shahi, Virginia Shank, Vartan Simonian, Yoshi Sonoyama, Mary Earl Spencer, Andrea Stevel, Jonathan Stevel, Yuki Stevel, Fontan Riverde, Lisa Taylor, Tiffany Tran, Michelle Tuckman, Ruth Tucker, Rita Vaselli, Bill and Betty Jo Woolett, and Liana Zhao. Thank you again for your support and for, for participating in our ceremony today. As you leave, I hope you will continue your conversations with your scholarship donors, your recipients, our faculty, our staff. I again want to say thank you to everyone who made this possible. As many of you noticed on the way in, we have what's called a step and repeat banner, and it is there to take pictures with your friends, with your donors, with whomever you'd like. So please take advantage of that and have a wonderful summer.